Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Hey YouTube, Long Boys Post 1975 and welcome to a show and tell video. Welcome to a very special show and tell video because it's a back to the future show and tell video. Can I say show and tell any more times in this video? But you already knew that because it's in the title for this video and it's in the thumbnail. Anyway, I have to say the following disclaimer on this channel when I talk about, talk about back to the future because it's the law. Anyone who knows me in person or watches this channel for any period of time will know that I absolutely love, worship and adore the movie Back to the Future. I am an uber fan. I am obsessive about Back to the Future. It's been my favourite movie since I saw it in the cinema on day one. I watched it multiple times a week. It's never wavered. It's never changed in being that movie. And I personally think it's the greatest movie in the entire history of movies and I will fight anyone who disagrees. Anyway, I have a bunch of Back to the Future merchandise toys and things like that. I got a playlist of videos, a Back to the Future playlist, so I suggest you go and check out that if you want to see some of the stuff I have. I have a hoverboard, I have the shoes, I have many DeLoreans, I have number plates, I have books, I have posters, I have the sports almanac. I also have the newspaper from Back to the Future Day in 2015. Dean. Oh, and obviously I have the Lego DeLorean, which is worth like £200 now. It's insane. And I have two Playmobil DeLoreans. Now, I have not forgot. Uh, I need to make a part two of, you know, reviewing or taking a look at the Playmobil Back to the Future Time Machine DeLorean. I will be getting around to doing that. Unfortunately, I need to film it again because the files got corrupt. And what's really frustrating about that is what I said in the original video that I wasn't going to film me build it. I filmed me building it. So, and it was nerve wracking. And you could even see generally how pensive and scared I was when I came to putting the stickers on because it only gave you one of each. So I'm going to have to reshoot that. And well, I'm not going to dismantle, dismantle it or anything like that. I'm just going to have to show you and give you my thoughts and views on it in its constructed form, which to be fair was the route I was going to go anyway. Yes, I am aware I have a second one. So technically I could crack that open and build it again from scratch. But no, that one's staying sealed for the rest of humanity. Anyway, <clears throat> I have no idea why my voice went all wobbly then, probably because I'm talking about Back to the Future and it generally gets me pumped. So anyway, what is the one thing I don't have in my Back to the Future collection? And that would be autographs. I don't know why I never ever, until literally it worked the other night, um, Open Amazon on my phone. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Never get the Amazon app on your phone. It becomes incredibly easy and or dangerous to spend vast amounts of money. Although I do not regret this in any, in, in its entirety, absolutely whatsoever. So I thought, I'll have a look at autographs. I don't know why. I always just assumed that autographs would be really, really, really expensive or, and getting them authenticated and stuff like that would also be really expensive. And so I never really looked. Uh, and to be fair, actually, I wasn't looking for autographs then. I just typed in Back to the Future and Amazon Prime and this popped up. So I guess um, you forget that there are companies, there are companies who dedicate their entire, you know, range of products to collectors with things like, you know, props, uh, autographs, you know, proved uh, and, you know, easily confirmed certificate of authenticity and things like that, autographs, uh, you know, film stock and things like that. So, yeah, I, I had a look and I found, and this was only £80. I thought, some people might think that's expensive. I thought that was really, really cheap. And it's a framed picture of um, three postcards, each representing representing the three movies. As you know, the order of my favourite you know movies is Back to the Future 1, then 3, then 2. But as a kid, you always say 1, then 2, then 3. But you're wrong. It's 1, then 3, then 2. Anyway, <laughs> that's a debate for another time. And, yeah, do you know what? I actually do have film stock 
I don't know, that's really not going to come out. There's a lovely picture of me looking at my viewfinder. But yeah, I have film stock, so it's out there. Because people seem to think, how can they constantly keep, you know, banging out lots of film stock? I don't think your average person uh, understands. When you shoot a movie, just how much in physical length you have of film stock. It's ridiculous. Look it up. So that's why these companies can just keep banging out these things. So what did I get then? I got pre-framed, already framed. That's a good thing because our uh, me and getting stuff framed, we do not get on. Anyway, it's an absolutely wonderful piece. I've taken the cellophane off the front, but I have left it on the back. And as you can see, there is its uh, certification of authenticity. It's a lovely piece. It's glass framed. And yeah, you can see what it is. I'm trying to hold it so there isn't glare, but Basically, you have a postcard from each of the movies at the top of the frame. It's really, really nice. I can tell you now it's really, really sturdy uh, and nice quality. Then underneath it, you have 12 uh, individual film cells, frames, or, you know, general fo footage from the movie. Just an individual scene. And also the other thing about, you know, we don't, and people don't seem to understand just how much footage is used, uh, you know, in... In a, in a movie, it's how many frames a second and stuff like that. I mean, there, there is pretty much an indefinite amount if you want to make these things, but you have 12 images, each from the three movies. But what's really, really, really nice is the back of it, if you can see there on the back, um, the, it's cut out. It's cut out. It's there to allow light through so you can see the individual frames from these three movies. Whether or not you can see it when it's hanging on the wall remains to be seen, but it's really, really nice. Now, I'm going to show you the individual, um, you know, pictures of pictures, frames of the movie. But uh, in order to do that, I am actually going to have to, uh, it's going to be awkward, but it's the only way I can do it. Stick the picture in the window. I'm all bells and whistles, me. And then um, I'm going to just basically film it with my phone and hopefully, you know, there won't be too much glare and dodgy focusing and stuff like that. Uh, and all the things I fight daily on a low production channel. And you can see each of, why am I still holding it like this? You can see each of these frames of the, the, the three movies. But before uh, I do that, I just want to also say more importantly or most importantly, and the main reason I got this is you get two pictures uh, in the bottom left hand corners of my Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd. So you've got Marty and you've got Doc and they are signed by the actors. And that is the real main reason or selling point, I should say at least, for me to get this framed picture. Just, I, I had to. In fact, like I said, why have I never got round to buying autographs, you know, of the uh, the actors in the movie, the, the two most important actors in the movie, I should say. Why have I never done this when I'm such a massive Back to the Future fan? All I can say is, shame on you, Dave. Shame on you. But yeah, this is a really, really nice, you know, thing to have. It's a perfect present for anyone who loves Back to the Future and will look absolutely fantastic on the wall. So a lot of work and effort has gone into this. It's not like some banged out cheap piece of crap with minimal effort put into maximize profit this is clearly being made by a company who um know what people want from such a, a collective piece or you know framed piece of their, their favorite movie anyway quickly i'm going to show you in rather poor quality the the cells from the movie that are featured in this so I do apologize about shaky cam and the reflection and to be honest, probably the focus as well. But there you go. Top left. You can see I love the way it lets the light through. I mean, obviously, that would be the only way to see it. So not going to work so well on the wall then, is it? But top left, Murray uh, and Doc just sent Einstein into the future. Twin Pines Mall. Apparently, I should apologize for the glare as well. <laughs> And then he got 1955 uh, Hill Valley School, uh, Marty and his dad. Then next to that, you've got the end of Back to the Future 1 recreated in Back to the Future 2 with new Jennifer. Then you've got Marty and Doc Back to the Future 2. And then you can see, so obviously it does feature all from the, the three various movies, which you would hope so. Marty and his um, Roy Rogers, is the only way to describe it. Cowboy Get Up in Back to the Future 3. Doc Brown. Back to the Future 3, and then if we go to the bottom left, you've got uh, Biff and Marty facing off at the, the school. Then you've got Marty meets his mother, uh, you know, young Lorraine for the first time. Then you've got Cafe's 80s with Griff. And then obviously one of my favorite scenes, the future. i got to check this out when they're in the alleyway in Back to the Future 2. And obviously all the laser discs are discarded there. 
And then obviously you've got the bit where Griff is you know, shooting, making Marty dance or Mr. Eastwood dance. And then you've got the end. I like the fact that the final picture is pretty much the final scene of the movie where you've got the DeLorean's just being trashed, hasn't it? And Jennifer Marty in his proper cowboy gear. So there you go. As I said, I apologize for the shaky cam and blurriness and stuff like that, but that was the best way to capture it. But I cannot recommend this enough. I forget which company it is, but basically, if you just go onto uh, Amazon and type in Frame Back to the Future Autographs, this is the one that always pops up. Do I think it's worth £80? Well, for me, a Back to the Future fan uh, and collector, of course it's worth £80. Uh, do I think it's worth £80 in build quality and things like that? I do. I really, really do. I really think they've made a lot of effort and, you know, and attention to detail in the way this is displayed and how it's laid out and things like that. I particularly like the fact that you can see through it, as I said, and also the fact that, you know, the way they've actually framed the items themselves, as in the movie postcards or movie uh, um, posters are at the top, then you get the um, the film sales and then you get the autographs of the actors. And this lovely plaque, this lovely, uh, I think it is actually metal, uh, Back to the Future trilogy, 1985, 1989 and 1990 treble montage it is really 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 nice this video is not doing it justice but i had to put it out there because it's back to the future uh, and i want it in my back to the future playlist so if back to the future is your cup of tea or your thing uh, i really do recommend you get one of these i'm not pimping the company up or anything like that but i am very 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 happy with this it's packed well the way they sent it it was super super packaged and it wasn't even amazon prime and it came in two days so there you have it this is going on my wall next look at a glare this is going on my wall next to my framed newspaper and yeah I, I i cannot speak highly enough of this item thoroughly recommend it if you're back to the future fan that you should be getting one of these anyway as always i'd love to know what you think thank you for, particularly your order of movies yeah let's get started on that uh, and thank you very much for watching i'll see you later